Hey, welcome back to SP Ramble On. Thanks again for joining us on another one of these projects that we're working on to fix up our boat. This one, uh, we got a couple of things coming up in the future than I think we talked about in one of our older videos at the beginning of the year, but one of the things that I don't even think was on the list was a cockpit shower. And I think how, it, how that started is because we wanted a deck wash down. And so doing a little shopping around, I found this uh, deck faucet thing. It's a recessed plumbing valve. And what it is is it's a... Uh, it's basically a shower mixing valve on and hot and cold. We have hot water down in the cockpit. We have a stub from the old location of the water heater. So I'm going to connect onto that. I got a hot water tap from the new hot, wa hot water heater. So this is the plate and this thing's going to go right here and I have room on the inside and this is back in the lazarette. So I'll just route the water from over there up in here. Uh, kind of like how I did the bilge pump plumbing. And then what we got is this set right here and it's a jobs go quick it's to deck quick connect and we got it for the wash down jenny saw it years ago and it was a different company that made it and jobs go bought them out but what it is basically is a quick connect with a little tap and a valve that keeps water this thing you can disconnect and connect the hose under pressure and then this thing just goes bloop plugs it in you got a 25 foot coil hose and we can take this thing out and stow it out of the way when we don't need it. I looked at recessed shower cockpit things with like pull out hoses and they just take up a god awful amount of room and we don't have a lot of storage in this boat anyway down in our lockers so I didn't want to go that route. So tossing that hose somewhere is a lot easier than some retractable shower thing that we end up, it's like a plastic junk a lot of it. This, is, this seems a little more heavy duty, this is all stainless steel. Uh, this is really nice it's stainless steel cover on the mixing valve. This is made by Scanvic and I uh, got it from Defender. Uh, the deck connect for the wash down, this is going to be fresh hot water and uh, cold water shower. I'm thinking about putting it right here. So this thing will be back here with the little plate. And we're going to do one up by the anchor uh, windlass when we uh, get that plumbing installed. I got to do that. And but that's it. not fresh water. No, oh yeah, that one's coming through the seacock that feeds the toilet. That one's going to be a saltwater anchor wash down. I'm still contemplating whether to pull cold water from the head and make a, an additional fresh water wash down up front. Uh, or we just get one big long 50 foot hose and I can reach everything on the boat if I need to. We'll give it a fresh water rinse. Yeah, so this thing works off of our house pump and we got a five gallon a minute sure flow. I got to cut some holes in here and the, this part of the deck is cord. This part of the uh, cockpit well is solid glass. so. I'm gonna to have to do some grinding out of the, remove some of the coring material and fill it with epoxy and then re-drill it for the deck connection so that we don't get any rotten core happening in our cockpit. And how are you, or how are you sealing that? I'm gonna use the butyl tape that I use all over the boat and it's just... For both of those? Yeah, for these, this and this. It sticks really good and it's really watertight. So it's probably hard to see, but I ground out the inside of the, uh, the whole penetration for the deck wash down. So right here I'm gonna fill this all in with epoxy. So where the screws and everything go through, nothing, if water gets in, it's not gonna infiltrate the core. So anyway. Okay, so everything's installed. Got the hose in, got the shower valve. Oh. And you got, that turns it on, got cold that way, hot that way right in the middle Ooh. nice yeah that it's a sureflow aqua king two five gallon a minute uh shower pump or okay. pressure pump we also installed a second washdown area, and this is going to be our saltwater washdown for the for the uh, anchor and chain when we bring it in all muddy from the delta. So thanks for watching. Um, as always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, if you know somebody else who might be interested in these videos, give us a you know give us a shout because you know it helps get us out there and expose us to a bigger audience. Uh, we're also on uh, Instagram. Uh, we got our website, sbramblon.com, and also on Facebook. Uh, you can find us there as well.